I need to find the sine of 3 pi over 4 and cosine of 3 pi over 4 using reference angles. So how in the world am I going to do that? Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out where is 3 pi over 4. It's over here. Now, the reference angle, how am I going to find that? Well, how, much far, how many more pi's until I complete the pi? That's awkward, but yeah, that's right. So how many more pi's? Well, I'm going to need another quarter of a pi. So my reference angle is going to be pi over 4. Now, when I do that, I know that this is the same thing as 45 degrees. Ooh, that's going to be cool, right? Because I know that something about a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So remember, we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And what does that tell us? Well, if we recall, this is a right triangle. If this angle is 45 and this angle is 45, then our legs are 1 and our hypotenuse is the square root of 2. Well, this makes this problem really easy now, right? Because I know my x values, I know my y values, I know my r value. So I'm going to be able to tell you that the sine of 3 pi over 4 is going to equal to the sine of pi over 4. And when we look at our unit circle, we notice that the sine of pi over 4 is going to be the square root of 2 over 2. So now if you do the other one, we have cosine of 3 pi over 4, so that's going to be cosine of pi over 4. Again, if you look at your unit circle, we know that the cosine of the pi over 4. Now, what happens here? Is there anything we have to do? Well, remember, we're in quadrant 2, and remember all those rules we talked about for signs in quadrants. Uh-oh, now we have to have a minus, so don't forget that. Remember that you have to make sure you know which quadrant we're in, to know what the signs of your sine, cosine, and tangent and others are going to be. So this actually comes out to be negative square root of 2 over 2.